Hello everyone. For those of us coming back from episode one, welcome back. For those who have not seen episode one, what are you doing here? Episode one is elsewhere, and you should probably watch that before this one. You will have missed the meteoric rise of Ryan Soft. Oh, I get a text cursor. Anyhow, you miss the meteoric rise of Ryan Soft, starting from a sole developer in a garage. We have moved on to bigger and better things. We now have an office. There's me, Ryan, at my new upgraded computer. I assume they upgraded it. It didn't look like that in episode one. Anyhow, we have Amy Nenning here who is just hired at the end of last episode, we have this brand new spacious office. We have 6.7 million in cash. We are nine years into our career, soon to be 10. We have an illustrious past. All of these games, starting with our original hack venture for the PC. Notable titles that propelled us to our current station. Don't talk to me about life, our big, our first big game, a life simulation on the PC, earned us 2.4 million credits, I think. After which, it puts the lotion on its skin, a horror adventure made us 2.6 million. Howling at the Moon, a werewolf action game on the Super TES, 2.8 million. After which we had a bit of a slump. And we are here with Howling at the Moon 2, our first sequel, a werewolf action game for the play system. Our first 3D game, we have our own game engines. Rytec 3D, Rytec 2, and Rytec. Rytec 3D we came up with at the end of last episode so that we could release for the play system. Anyhow, now that we're caught up, what shall we do? We can fire Amy, although I don't know why we would do that. We have a fair amount of research points, so let's see what we can do with those. I, d I want this version 3 2D graphics, but it is 80 research points, so that may have to wait. Medium games is tempting, but I think for now we're going to... Let's release a new game. We have a number of new topics. Yeah, sure, why not? We have a number of new topics. We have a lot of money. Let's develop a new game. Let's make a cyberpunk RPG for the play system. I feel like that's a good a good decision for everyone using our brand new 3D engine. Let's see, Cyberpunk. Um, what shall we name this game? Cyberpunk RPG for the play system. Um, Shadow Walk. Yes, that sounds like a reasonable thing using our 3D graphics. After this one, I think I'll go back to my roots and make a text adventure game. We will, of course, give them all of the options available. And for RPGs, story quest is really important. Gameplay is fairly important. The engine, probably not so much. Well, We'll do that. Those seem like good levels. And 
stage one progresses. It seems that the market has normalized again with no particular strong trends. Um, action games are no longer popular. Hi, this is Gary White from Gamers. I got word that Ryansoft is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Absolutely. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions, blah blah blah, okay. Can you tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on dialogues or on sound? I'm going to say dialogues because it's an RPG and you will be talking to a lot of people. In a recent interview with Ryansoft, we discussed their upcoming cyberpunk RPG game and asked company founder Ryan how different development areas are prioritized. In the interview, Ryan said that dialogues is of particular importance for such a game, and it seems that other industry professionals agree with this. Again, I have chosen wisely. You can remember last in episode one, we answered a similar question well. Every game development project has limited resources, blah blah blah, nobody cares. Okay, more decisions. Dialogues. Important. Level design. Less important. Artificial intelligence. Reasonably good. Okay. Moving along. We gotta get this number, our research, up I think around 80. We will give them mono sound, an open world, and 3D graphics. Sound, a little important. Graphics, a little important. World design, fairly important. We are generating some hype. We can't really do anything for marketing yet, probably because I have not researched it. We gotta clear up our bugs here. Other than that, we're done. Slowly. Okay, everybody done giving us bugs? Good deal. Let's finish. And there we go. A new record for design. Our world design has leveled up. We are near to leveling up. Amy is well on her way to level 3. And let's go release! A day and night cycle. An important part of some games. Okay, just waiting for the reviews to roll in. Shadow Walk, new reviews. Let's go. No, 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 that's bad. Okay, well, well, they can't all be winners, right? RPG games work well on play system. Okay, good deal. We'll see how it does. Hopefully, it'll make us some money. Number of units sold is probably not as good as our top sellers, by a long shot. Looks like it's decreasing in popularity fairly quickly. It's ranking, of course, going down steadily. But let's have Amy generate a game report for it. It has made 206k so far. Excellent. Perhaps our next game, a throwback to our roots, will do better. Okay, we got the following results for Shadow Walk. Cyberpunk and RPG is a great combination. Gameplay is quite important. And everyone likes the play system. Its match is great. Okay. Excellent. Let's research some things. I do want that day and night... Oh, no. No, 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 no. I want the 2D graphics v3. So, let's... I don't want to send her on vacation yet. So let's make another game. Let's develop a sequel. I believe last time I said I wanted to make a sequel to... To... Where is it? Smoking Jacket Bob! Yes. Certainly not Leisure Suit Larry. A completely different game. Let's do that. Select Smoking Jacket Bob 2. 
for mature audiences since we can do that now. It is a comedy adventure for the PC using our Ritek 2 engine. There's really no need to get into graphics. It will be text-based. So let's go start that development. After this we should be able to research our awesome things. I'm not sure how we're putting simple cutscenes into a text adventure, but that's fine. The engine of lesser importance adventure games, the gameplay should be relatively high. The story and quests, of course, of paramount importance. Our bubbles filling in somewhat nicely, less so than other things. Good, better dialogues. Artificial intelligence not as important and level design can be somewhat low. Dialogues, however, are of course extremely important. There's stage two. Shadow Walk is off the market. It gave us half a million. Good deal. Ah, Ninvento announced their next generation console called TES64 today. Expected in the coming months, it is the world's first gaming console to support to sport 64-bit processors for graphics and audio. Ninvento said this will allow never-before-seen 3D realism. Actually, it is a really good system. In recent years, the Super TES has lost a lot of market share to more modern consoles. Market experts said that the hardware of the TES 64 is surely impressive, but expressed their surprise that it still uses ROM cartridges instead of the much cheaper and higher capacity CD-ROM format. While this is true, cartridges break far less. You can't scratch them. They stop working. You blow into them, which they say not to do, but you know, it still works. And suddenly everything's cool again. Very robust systems. Hard to break. Nevertheless, the TS-64 seems like an impressive console and Ninvento has said that it plans to aggressively price it against Voni's play system. I think I'm going to develop for Ninvento exclusively pretty soon here, although if it follows real world trends, I may stop. So we'll set these to appropriate levels. Sound apparently not as important for an adventure game. Graphics, not really sure how they apply to text-based games, but we'll follow our cues here and proceed with stage three. After this, we will be able to release once our bugs are fixed. We're generating hype. There is a clear trend towards adventure games recently, just in time. Excellent. We're inserting and fixing bugs. Cool. We will, in fact, go to the big game convention and Put a small booth up. No, let's go big. We have money. Let's let's put a medium booth up. That did hurt. Took us down quite a bit in available money. But maybe this sequel will help us out a little bit. It leveled a lot of things up, gameplay, story and quests, dialogues, and level design, up to level 4. And us, as a developer, we are now level 4. Decent figures, though not amazing by any means. Release a successful game in each of the five main genres. Okay. We can research character progression, a branching story, and dialogue trees. Very cool. All of those things are good. First reviews for Smoking Jacket Bob 2 came in. Let's see. Wow, they varied quite wildly. Okay, an 8 is good. Another 8. Focus on story and quest served very well. A nice experience. 
more please that you shall have all games let's see how it sells okay the TS-64 by Ninvento has been released I think we will soon develop something for that console as a new console it is undoubtedly quite popular let's see how we placed at the convention oh we didn't make it into the top 100 booths we have not done so yet we have 20k fans of course that number will rise as we do cool things looks like smoking jacket Bob is falling off pretty hard however Amy needs to generate a game report for it huh. okay it's made 621 K so far but let's go it averaged eight points across all sources our research has gotten to the point where we can in fact get the next 2D engine dialogue seem to be very important mature titles for the PC are a great match and mature comedy is also a great match I never would have expected that additional insights we should try to focus our entire team on the development of a game. Okay. We can't quite do that yet, but we can get 2D graphics V3, which is awesome. Smoking Jacket Bob 2 got 807k in sales. Let's see. Okay, almost 700k total profit. Excellent. We haven't really moved much in terms of cash available I wonder how long it will take to train me on something let's find out shall we no we don't want to fire Amy Nenning she has been a great help to us Our overhead costs for this nice office are mounting, lowering our available cash quite rapidly. It seems that the market has normalized, so the market switched just in time for us to release one title and has moved on. In two months, the Super TES will be taken off the market now that the 64 is out. So let's develop a new game what do we have available zombies okay what's good for the TS 64 I do not yet know yeah we don't know much about it yet but we're going to develop for it 200 K for a license but let's go ahead with that using our 3D Rytec engine I feel like action games are going to be popular and we already know that Ninja Everyone games are quite good I feel like martial arts is also a good option okay now all we need is a name um, how about flying chipmunk um, sneezing tigers I don't know sure why not it will be 3d of course let's go ahead and start our engine important gameplay important story and quests not so much 
a percentage has come up here. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Okay, well, we'll just move with those. So, moving along, stage one, we do have better dialogues. Not as important, however. Level design, probably incredibly important. And artificial intelligence, reasonably important. You don't want dumb enemies after all. So I'm going to guess that that's reasonably good. Moving along to stage three. We're not inserting many bugs into this one. Graphics, important. Sound, probably fairly important. World design, uh, maybe about halfway. Yeah, yeah, okay. Giving them the best of all of our options. And moving on, we're down to six million, so hopefully this one makes us some money. It really ought to, since it's on a new system. And I think action games are going to do well. Super TES is no longer supported. We made three and a half million off of it in two games. Very nice. We've fixed our bugs. Our research is going to allow us to do some nice new things. And we're off. Not a, a real big numbers game, but we got a lot of leveling up on it. Our engines, our artificial intelligence, graphics, 3D graphics, and sound, all leveling up. Amy Nenning is not really doing anything. We can research multiplayer, better AI, and stereo sound. Okay. I think, however, that... Oh, first reviews for Flying Chipmunks, Sneezing Tigers came in. Okay. Let's see what they think. Oh, those numbers are not good. Those numbers are not good at all. Action games work well. Okay, on the TS-64. I guessed right. They should focus more on technology. Okay. Well, this one might flop a bit. Hi, boss. A friend of mine is greatly involved in an organization which aims to get more women into technology. They're looking for a sponsor, and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for us. Would you like to help out? I can take 40k into that, sure. Why not? Maybe this game will... Uh, okay. Maybe it will not... Bring us back up. We have got word. Okay. We have gotten word that Ryansoft has recently sponsored a highly praised move to get more women into technology roles. Ryan, the CEO at Ryansoft, said, We would love to see more women in the game industry. Sure. Why not? Amy, however, needs to generate us a game report. It is so far a loss, which I am not happy with. But we need to research... We need to research, where is it, medium games, so that we can get Amy Nenning in on the deal. Moving along quickly. Completed. Hi, Ryan. I have followed the progress of Ryansoft for a while, and it seems that with your recent expansion, you have started developing larger games now that we've completed medium games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. They will market and publish your game around the world. They help fund development, uh, blah, 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 blah. I can put you in touch with some publishers. Yasmin Droke. Jasmine? Yasmin? I don't know. Whichever. We can find publishing contracts. Post-release analysis, dialogue seems to be not at all important for those types of games. Gameplay is quite important. Okay, I probably underplayed that. Everyone likes martial arts, though. Okay, and as usual, we need to focus our entire team. We've only been doing small games so far. 
let's go ahead and find a publishing deal. We can't do sports strategy, any topic, any genre. We have to get a minimum score of 5, but it's for the gambling, which we already have a uh, thing, stuff. A license for, yes, license. I knew there was a word for it. Uh, I don't want to go into the Master V. I don't think that mystery simulations on the gambling are going to be very good. So let's do this one. Let's accept this contract. It is a... Oh, that's right. It was any topic, any genre. What works well on the gambling? Okay, I cannot see what works well on the gambling, but let us try things. A space, a space, space, adventure, yes, using our Rytec 2 engine and we will call it um, Space Mission. Not at all Space Quest. Entirely different. I think we really are becoming Sierra. Anyhow, let's move on. It will have excellent 2D graphics. Which reminds me, I need to set up a new uh, game engine to handle our new um, version 3 2D graphics. I am excellent in tech and in design. Amy is reasonably well versed in both fields. So, as an adventure, our story and quests are important. Gameplay is eh. Engine is ah. Uh, something like that. So, I want me on that, she can do that, and she can do that as well. I will take over some more tasks later. I don't want her to get overworked right off the bat, but she's going to get overworked on this anyway. It only generated about a quarter million. It was definitely a loss. Oh, I don't really want a booth, to be honest. Oh, I could just cancel it, but let's go with a small booth. Just to have presence. Dialogues, incredibly important, and I will do those. Level design, less important. Artificial intelligence, not at all important, apparently. So Amy can handle those. I will focus on everything else in stage three, I think. But let's give it a shot. She's going to get a bit overworked. A clear trend towards simulation games. Okay. This is Curtin Gillen from Gamers. I got word that Ryansoft is working, blah blah blah. Do we want to interview? Sure. What is your expectation regarding the success of Space Mission? Do you think that the game will be well received? Absolutely it will. Thank you for your time. Okay. Graphics, fairly important, but world design, far more. Sounds, not as much. We will give Amy sounds, and we will take everything else. Yeah. We are going to be incredibly overworked. But Amy is going to be okay. So, let's go. It looks like our game convention booth came in. Advertising space mission. Not, not a great turnout. We definitely didn't make it into the top 100, but that's okay. Our hype is building for our brand new game. Let's hope that it performs 
reasonably well. Our bugs finishing up. Nobody. The day Vena fans have waited a long time for has arrived, as Vena has announced their next generation console, the DreamVast. A company spokesperson said, The DreamVast is a dream come true. This console is the most advanced gaming console in history. I never actually owned one of those, so I can't really speak to it. The new console sports powerful graphics hardware, promising graphic quality rivaling those on high-end PCs. The DreamVast is also the first console to ship with a modem out of the box, making it ready for online play. The console will be available early next year. We should probably get in that for multiplayer, but let's go ahead and finish this one. Hope it gets some good reviews, otherwise we're going to have to pay a penalty. And Amy didn't really get any experience for that. I'm not sure why. Our office could really do with some renovation work, and our computer systems are also out of date. Investing a little bit in a more modern office and upgraded computers would be a great. A great what? Would be great. Do you want to renovate the office? Not yet. I feel like we need to make some more money. First reviews for Space Mission. Hey! That is horrible. Bad. Okay, we're going to have to pay a penalty for this one, as apparently it sucked. It sucked really hard. So, it did, however. It lost us a lot of fans. A, a penalty will be applied to your account. Wah, wah, wah. 100k, ouch. Ryan from Ryansoft made very bold remarks, predicting that Space Mission would be uber successful. Now that the game is out, the consensus is that Ryan needs a lesson in how to be humble, as the game received mediocre reviews. Overall, this had a negative effect on sales. Yeah, well. Whatever, man. Okay, let's generate a game report on this flop. Things are not going as well as they did when we were in our garage. What lessons can we learn from this? I'm not sure, but let's go into something new like a a I'm feeling day-night cycle. We'll just do that. She's generating our, our game report. We're researching day-night cycles. New research is coming in. Everything is going slowly. Space mission. Not doing so hot. But that's okay. We can research more things. Casual games seems like a good thing to do. Okay, space and adventure is okay. Artificial intelligence seems to be not important, as I believe I guessed. Adventure on the gameling is bad. Everyone on the gameling is good, and everyone and space works great. So I did make some bad decisions on the adventure gameling match. Um, the everyone gambling is okay. We should try to focus our entire team. We did that, Amy. Come on. Okay, well, let's send her on a vacation. I feel like I can develop a game on my own reasonably well. Let's create a custom game engine, the Rytech. 3 3D 2 engine. No. No, no, no. The Rytec 4. Let's see. We had Rytec, Rytec 2, Rytec 3D. Would I still go to 3? Oh, well, let's call it 4 anyway. With 2D graphics, version 3. 
Yeah, I don't think we need to include the others. We have a new day-night cycle. Let's go! That cost us a lot. Let's hope it pays off. While Amy is on vacation, we're making our new game engine. Space mission only generated a little under half a million. Disappointing. It actually made a profit, but it didn't cost very much. We had to pay a hundred K fine off of it. Just one second. Ah, bit of a sneeze there. No, Amy. We're losing money. We can't afford to upgrade all our crap. Come on, Amy. You know this. Let's go ahead and train her. She could use some design work, actually. So let's do that. We have a little ways to go in creating our Rytec 4 engine. And she could use some design work. It's possible that filling this position would help me out. Ow, I'm losing so much money. Okay, we need to make a sim. As soon as this is out, a 3D sim with day-night cycles about something good for sims. And Rytec 4 is complete. Excellent. Amy is back from her vacation. Everything is good. What deals do we have? Huh. Okay. A game dev strategy for any console. The penalty is quite stiff. So, a school strategy. Any RPG and a game dev strategy. No, we're going to self publish this one. It will, in fact, be a simulation. We don't really know much about. Oh, that's right, we have music. However, I feel a. What worked in the past? A life simulation. I believe a life simulation worked out well. A great combo. Okay. Simulation for the PC. Using our Rytec 4 engine, it will be a medium game for everyone. We will call it um, the meaning of life since that's what it's simulating. Let's go! It will have version 3 2D graphics. This is going to cost a lot of money. The market has normalized just in time for it to not help us at all. So, let's go! The engine, very important. The gameplay not as much, and I don't think the story and quests are important very much, so let's put Amy on those two things. We will take the engine. Actually, let's bump that down a bit more so that Amy isn't overworked. We have all of our options there. Another 90k into development. It's receiving some mild hype, presumably from our fans. The Dreamvest by Venna has been released. We should probably put something on that system. Okay, our next stage of development. Dialogues, not as important. Level design, quite important. Uh, yeah, about there and artificial intelligence in a simulation fairly important so we will take that Amy can take that and we're balanced fairly well I think we will both be in the yellow on stage three a small number of dedicated fans have asked that we release the source code to one of our older engines Rytec 2 
doing so would surely satisfy these fans, but given that we worked hard on the engine, we could also sell licenses and make some money. Alternatively, we could simply refuse their request. Amy, why? Why would we refuse their request and sell it? It's so old. No, we have a brand new engine. Let's give away the old one. Okay, our recent decision to give away our engine, Rytec 2, was met with positive responses from fans. We gained 1k, and it cost us a little bit of money, 4.2k. That's okay. Let's hope that this meaning of life simulation performs well, because we are losing a lot, excuse me, a lot of money. The Vena Oasis will be taken off the market in two months, too short a time for us to do anything with it. World design less important, graphics, sound, maybe. Amy can take over the world design. We're both fairly overworked. We're overworked fairly, so day-night cycle. Our new version 3 2D graphics and let's go let's make some money no I can't afford booths at conventions anymore that will probably lose us some fans but that's fine our technology on this one is quite good our design a bit lacking Amy why are you filling bugs in the code? Come on. At least you fixed it. Okay, it doesn't look like we are contributing any farther. The Oasis is gone. We made three million off of it. Okay. Moving on. It is a new record in technology. That's usually a good start. Our version 3 2D graphics are leveling up quite nicely. Amy got a lot of experience for that one. We did as well and our world design is raising quite well. Let's go see how it does. No, Amy, we are not. I know you hate working on your crap PC, but too bad. The Meaning of Life reviews are in. Don't be crap. Okay, seven is not bad. Simulation games work well on the PC, we knew that. Okay, Game Hero screws us a little bit. But All Games likes us quite a lot. So, hopefully this will bring us back up at least to 5 million. It doesn't look like it will. No, it will not. It is making some decent money. Uh, okay. Amy. Oh, it did bring us up to 5 million. Excellent. Amy, go generate a game report. It's made almost three quarter of a million so far. Well, a little over half. Okay, let's not be too too uh, optimistic about it. While she's doing that, let's research some things. Character progression branching story, both good ideas, dialogue trees, excellent ideas. I feel like stereo sound could really help. We're still on mono sound, which is going to hurt quite a lot, so stereo sound it is. New research, multi-genre games, okay, excellent that actually might be a really good idea. Engine seems to be quite important for simulation games. Pretty sure we knew that. Okay, and they didn't tell us to involve Amy in things. Excellent. Let's see. We completed our research. We have made 1.1 million on this Meaning of Life simulation. After our 
flop of a game with our space adventure. So, what what can we do? We have the new Dream Vast system. We could develop for the Play system or the TES-64. I feel like the TES-64 might be a good idea. Have we released any games for it? I don't think we have. No, we did a martial arts action game. Okay. So, let's try again, but I think we need a new topic. No, we need to perform a music game. That that's what we need to do. But let's let's try this publishing deal again. Any topic, any genre for the play system, but we don't know what's good for the play system. A school adventure for any platform. We could do a PC school adventure. Oh, we don't have school. Okay. Infro games. Ha ha ha. Yes, clever. Okay. So we need a medium game with a minimum score of six. Any topic, any genre for the play system. Um, um, oh, we are low on cash. A game dev strategy game for the game link, but I don't think strategy games are that good for the game link. So let's try this one. A minimum score of six. We know some things work particularly well, and the only thing that we're forced into is the play system and a medium game. Let's give it a shot. The play system using our Rytek 4 engine. What do we want to do? I feel like RPGs are good and what do we know of RPGs? I think, oh no, that's a bad combo. So, why does it do that? Okay, I think that's a bug. Anyway, we don't know that. Horror RPGs? Zombies RPGs? Cyberpunk RPGs! Yes! A mature cyberpunk RPG. Everybody likes mature games. Um, so, let's see. Cybernomic. Nomicon. Yes. Neil Stephenson fans knows, know what's up. Or, I suppose, um, horror fans. But, let's progress. We will use our version 3 2D graphics and start the development. In two months, the Master V, which I don't think anybody cared about will be taken off the market. I certainly did not care about it. Gameplay important. RPGs, story quests, also important. The engine, probably less so. So let's take over one of the major tasks and lower that a bit and give it to Amy. She can take a major task and a minor task while we take yeah sure why not after this we'll give her a vacation she can go do nice things on a beach somewhere but right now she is going to work hard the meaning of life is off the market it generated 1.7 million in sales excellent the meaning of life is to make some money. It made us 1.2 million. Okay. Our dialogues are going to be important, I believe. So we should take that. Artificial intelligence less important. Amy can take that. And actually, maybe that was better that way. Amy can take something on the next round one of the major tasks on the next round 
she's only slightly in the yellow. I think... I don't think we can send ourselves on a vacation. Today, Vony has announced the much-anticipated successor to their popular Play System console. The Play System 2 will have upgraded hardware to compete with newer generation consoles such as the Dreamvast. Unlike the Dreamvast, the player Play System 2 does not focus much on online play, but instead seems to focus on the strengths of the previous play system, a solid upgraded controller, including vibration function, upgraded graphics, support for DVD titles, and even backwards compatibility with Play System 1 games. Yeah, that was a good system. A good step up for the uh, whole thing. So, graphics are fairly important. We'll try for a little bit of sounds. Oh, that's interesting. World design, however, is going to be important. Let's let's okay. Crap. I'm having a little bit of trouble making this decision. I don't think I can fail to overwork myself, so, well, maybe I can by doing this. Nope. Okay. Nope, we want to work on graphics. She can have everything else. Overworking her a bit. Whatever, not a big deal. We're going to give her a vacation. Master V is no longer supported. Nobody cares. A strong audience is everyone, apparently. I don't remember that happening. Since release, the Dreamvest from Vina has been one of the fastest selling consoles in history, but lately, it seems that the anticipation of the upcoming Play System 2 release is slowing down sales. Not really unexpected. If the Play System 2 can hold up to the hype when it is released, then Vina could be in deep trouble. And I believe it is. So, I believe this is her efficiency meter, and it is going down somewhat rapidly. So, we just inserted a bug. PC software juggernaut Micronoft has announced today that they will enter the game console market with their very own gaming console called the Mbox. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. First demonstrations have been impressive, but we will have to wait and see how it fares against the popular Dreamvast, which it, it will trounce, as well as against the recently announced and much anticipated Play System 2, which it will not trounce. The new console is set to debut in the coming months. That it will. Let's finish our bug. Me quit inserting bugs. Today the new game platform Play System 2 by Vony has been released. We should probably uh, develop some things for that. I want a few more points, but I don't think they're forthcoming, so let's move on. Not wildly impressive numbers, but our V3 2D graphics have leveled up quite nicely. Artificial intelligence is still somewhat lacking. I do want that one up a bit. But our world design is quite good. Amy is catching up. The launch of the Play System 2 has been a phenomenal success. Stores everywhere are out of stock, as manufacturing can barely keep up. Fans have resorted to buying the console on internet auction sites for as much as five times the normal price. Meaning that we really need to get into that. While Vony has managed to have the most successful launch in history, sales of Vena's Dreamvast have plummeted. As pretty much expected. Our office could really do with some renovation. Oh, I want to see how this one does. First reviews for Cybernomicon came in. Okay. Oh, that is so bad. Oh. 
uninspiring. Whatever, you're not really informed. A five. Well. Well. Okay. I think that was a publishing deal, and I think we failed on it. Micronoft has announced the delay of their new gaming console inbox. The new release date is later this year. Rumor has it that the incredible success of the Play System 2 launch has prompted Micronoft to de delay their own debut. Okay. That gives us a little bit more time to go into the Play System 2 market. The game doesn't live up to expectations, blah blah blah. Yeah, we know, 150k. Ouch. So, um, we need to generate some reports for... Oh, we already did one. Okay, Cybernomicon. Go, Amy. A proposition. A encrypted proposition. Very special offer, blah blah blah. 136k. Holy! Agent Blowfish is getting quite expensive. If you want to play war games, transfer 136k to the enclosed location and we'll initiate sabotage dot comma. Oh, I don't know what that does and I feel like it's a bad idea. So, we'll move on. She's generating us a report, so let's research some new things. Uh, mystery could be good. Is there anything else that we want? I feel like a story quests might be quite good, but I need to get more research points going. So, we'll just research some more topics. I am losing fans quite rapidly for some reason. Small booth, sure, whatever. This is not going that well. So, post-release of Cybernomicon, sound seems to be not very important. Really? For an RPG? Okay. Okay, RPGs on the play system are great, and mature titles on the play system are good. I think everyone on the play system will be better, so let's release something else. Oh, that's right, she needs a vacation. We need to research. We need to research. Escuela. Sure, sure, we'll go for that. I feel like new topics are going to be quite good. Okay, the market has normalized again. Everyone is not a favored um, target market. Ah, Cybernomicon. This is going to be underwhelming. We have lost fans of late. We definitely didn't make it into the top 100. 81,837 people. We lost 20 fans for some reason. Hey, we only lost one fan that time. Yay! I don't know why that makes me so happy. Um... What new topics do we have? Rhythm. Oh, some new games systems coming out might be good with that. I feel like it's time to pick up Game Dev, though. It's been on there long enough. Cybernomicon is really falling off. Let's see how much it has made. Only 178k. The Meaning of Life did far more I'm thinking that PC games might be the way to go. What were our top sellers made for? Ouch. That one was horrible. Okay. Anyhow, moving on. Howling at the Moon 2 was underwhelming compared to its predecessor, which made 2.8 million on the Super TES, which I believe is off the market at the moment. But, the Oasis, also off the market, made us a lot of money. 
Okay. Um, oh, game dev is done. All right. Amy is back. Cybernomicon generated a quarter million almost. Can a new custom engine do very much for us? It can incorporate stereo sound. Actually, that might be a really good idea. Maybe... What publishing deals do we have? Maybe there's something that we can do. No, there is nothing. Okay, let's self-publish. One of our new topics, a mystery adventure, a medium mystery adventure for everyone on the PC using our Rytek 4 engine and it will be called and then there were a bunch no a bunch many many is a better thing so version 3 2d graphics I feel like this is gonna be one of our big breaks come on engine a little bit important gameplay story and quests of paramount importance let's downplay these a bit to give Amy some rest perhaps maybe let's go I don't know much about that particular screen apparently since it didn't have pluses or minuses anywhere Hi, this is Andrew McNara from Game Informant. I got word that Ryansoft is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information? Yeah, sure. It's one of those decision bits. Mystery adventure, gameplay, or graphics. I feel like gameplay is the right answer. We will see. Uh huh. It seems that other industry professionals disagree. Okay, so graphics is going to be important. Dialogues, very important. Level design, less important. Artificial intelligence, not very important at all. We will put Amy on those. Yeah, something like that. And we will take the next major thing in stage three. I really do hope that this one is better. Its numbers aren't impressive by any means. Yet. World design, very important, but we'll take it. Graphics, fairly important. Sound, not so much. So... Okay, yeah, we'll take most of the work. Amy can take a bit of a break on that one. Moving along. Yeah, it is lacking in technology somewhat. We can finish, but we have a fair number of bugs. I want my technology numbers to rise. We do have enough for some good research. The M-Box by Micronoft has been released. Okay. We're getting fairly close to modern day, actually. Okay, all our bugs are gone. I really do want more technology, but I don't think it's coming. So, fix my bug. And we'll, we'll see how it does. It is a new record in terms of design. Our world design levels up, and Amy Nenning, as well, has leveled up. A good deal. Let's see how it does. Due to increase in experience, she now makes 30k, which will hurt our monthly costs quite a bit. A rich backstory can be researched. And Amy really wants us to invest in more stuff, but we are losing a lot of money. And we haven't found a massive title. Hopefully, and then there were many, we'll fill that role. 
Let's find out. Wow, that was wildly up and down. Okay, mystery and adventure is great. Could have been better. Whatever, informed gamer. You don't know anything. Okay, well, it has its moments. And it falls a bit short. Okay, so this is not going to be our project that we hoped it would be. Maybe it will bolster our cash reserves somewhat. Well, it is helping. Let's go ahead and generate a game report on it. It is not making very much. I feel like PC games might be the way to go, to be honest. Because the consoles are quite volatile. And I'm not sure. Pirate. We need pirates. Okay. I'm not sure that going into them is a good idea, necessarily. Okay, and then there were many is complete in its analysis. Mystery and adventure is great, sound is not important, and everyone mysteries are reasonable, reasonably good. I like our little thing here. Okay, we completed uh, pirates, I think. So, pirates and action, or RPG, or adventure. Um, do we have a platform on which adventure... Oh, the PC hosts adventures quite well. So, let's see if there's a publishing deal that we can take advantage of. Any topic casual, which we do have. It has a minimum score of four, which is really quite good. But we can make a casual pirate game for the TES. It needs a minimum score of five. The TES is the TES sixty four is a little played out at this point. A minimum score of eight. Wow, we're not that good to be perfectly frank. So, a casual game. I feel like this could be good. I wonder if pirates and casual games are reasonable. Let's let's find out. I feel like action might be better. Well, let's see. It's a casual game about about pirates yes pirates on the oh that's a bit costly but I feel like it might work casual games uh, the gambling might actually be reasonably good for casual games. The PC, of course, probably the best for everything. Oh, it's so hard to decide, but for the PC I don't have to pay anything. So, a 3D casual... you know what? No. There, for the younglings. And we'll call it um, a pirate game, a casual pirate game. Oh, time wasters, ahoy! That seems like a good idea for the young people. Oh, does the PC, everyone might be a better choice for that. Yes. Yes, let's do that. Moving on. Good 2D graphics. Let's go. Amy can help me out. Um, she is getting a bit overworked already comparatively. 
the engine for a casual game, probably less important. The gameplay, however, needs to draw people in. Okay, maybe something like that. And what happens if I do that? Okay, we'll give them all of the options available in our Rytec 4 engine. And then there were many is on its way out. Oh, and it has bugs. And then there were many had quite a few undiscovered bugs when we released it. Some of our customers are having a bad time with this, and they demand that we patch the game. We could spend the money and time to patch it, or ignore their pleas if you want to patch the game. A character will have to do that. So, go ahead and do it. Amy Nenning, don't take too long. It's off the market. It generated 1.1 million in sales. It did bolster our cash reserves reasonably well. Um, we don't know much about casual games. The dialogues are probably less important. The level design probably more. I'm guessing on a lot of those. The patch was released on time. Excellent. We will gain fans for that. I don't want to participate in the convention. Although it probably would have hyped our game a little bit. Okay, sound and graphics are going to be important. World design might be less so. I feel like that's a good combo. Let's let's see how it does. I don't know, I'm guessing. I have no cues on which to work, but I know that I like casual games with good graphics and sound. Ryansoft has recently released a much needed patch for, and then there were many. One fan said, I love companies like Ryansoft. They don't just milk their customers for more money, but also understand our concerns and make sure that we can enjoy our games. That I do. I am benevolent. My monthly costs have risen to 62k, which hurts a lot. In a sobering announcement, Vina has today confirmed the discontinuation of the Dreamvast. Vina's president said that while many companies will still deliver games for the platform, the company will no longer produce new units in the future. Vina fans worldwide are disappointed as a beloved part of gaming console history that we didn't enter at all is coming to an end. Okay, fixing our bugs, fixing our bugs. The numbers are quite low for this one. I feel like for some reason all of these production deals suppress my numbers or I'm just doing badly. I do get a, I figured out what this is, a new topic and a new combo gives us bonus experience. We as a developer have leveled up to five. World design and dialogues are the only two things at five other than us. Our 2D graphics v3 have leveled up, excellent. And Amy is well on her way to level four. Let's see how badly this does reach level 5. Okay, someone on your team has reached level 5. We got a new special training item called Boost. The training for it is expensive and you can only do it once the character has at least 500 design or technology, but the investment is well worth it. I'm sure it is, and I think I'm a little bit low on that. Once trained, the Boost allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff and can really help you to make a hit game. All right, special training can be done on Ryan, and our 2D graphics V4 can be researched. No, Amy, we don't have enough money. Let's see how Time Wasters Ahoy does. It is going to fail, and we are going to lose the contract. Hey, Game Hero. 
Bro! Nice! I think we made it, actually. It got a 5.5! .5. Yes! We got it! Okay. Let's see how it does. They're supposed to hype this thing. The game meets the required ratings. We are looking forward to future business. All right. Very nice. Let's generate a game report here. It is a loss so far. We spent half a million on it. But let's see. It was our first our first casual effort and our first with a new topic. So whatever. I think it it is making money now. Yeah, 65k. It's not a total loss. It paid for one month so far. In two months, the play system will be taken off the market. All right, not a big deal. Analysis of Time Wasters Ahoy, Pirate and Casual is okay. Sound seems to be quite important. I correctly match that. But casuals for the PC are terrible. All right. The play system would have been a better choice. I will admit that. Let's see. It's made 216k. Not horrible. This one made 627. All right. The market responds to games with new topics. Okay, let's then release a new game with a new topic. Publishing deals. What do we have? Any topic, any genre minimum score of five. Wow. Everyone, medium. Those are the only things. The penalty is relatively low. They're going to take some of our money, actually quite a bit, I think. Nine, 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 and thirteen. Okay. I feel like this is good. We can accept this contract, and I feel like... Yeah, it's stuck to everyone. It will, of course, take advantage of our latest engine. We need to do another one of those, actually. And we need to pick a new topic. That will help a lot of things. Um, we have not done a school. Adventure, I feel like those are good. And it needs a name, a school adventure. Um, high school of the mostly alive anime reference. Oh, right, we need a platform. For adventures, the PC is awesome. I think the play system too is going to be awesome as well. Adventures on the gambling suck. So we could go with the trusty PC. We do have a licensing cost for the play system too that's quite steep, so let's go with the PC. We want this one to work. We want it to be excellent. So let's move on with our version 3 2D graphics. Go! Oh, this one had better work. I am doing okay at the moment with 5.2 million. Our engine is a little bit important. Our gameplay is also a little bit important, but our story and quests are extremely important. Amy can deal with the gameplay for now. Maybe she'll get some good experience on this one. Let's move on to stage two of development. Ninvento announced the new Ninvento Game Sphere, with which it will try to complete with Voni's Market, leading Play System 2 and Micronoft's strong alternative, the Mbox. The curiously shaped console has similar hardware specifications as other consoles. This is really when everything starts blending together for me. Everybody's offerings are basically the same. So, anyhow, the Game Sphere is Ninvento's first console to have an optical disk drive instead of cartridges. In my opinion, 
may be a mistake. However, instead of using full-size CDs and DVDs, like its competitors, the console features a mini DVD drive. Game Spheres will start rolling into stores next month. I'm not sure how I feel about the mini DVD drive. It seems like a mistake to me, but I suppose only time will tell. Dialogues, extremely important. Level design, not as important. Artificial intelligence, negligible. Okay, that's a good mix of things. We can only give better dialogues. High school of the mostly alive progresses well. Its numbers need to be higher. We got two million out of the play system. It's no longer supported. So we move on. Our technology needs to increase on this game, I feel. World design, incredibly important graphics, relatively important sound, not so much. I actually disagree with that one. I like a lot of good sound in my adventure games. So, that's overworking me quite a lot, but there's not much I can do about it, so on we go. Today the new game platform GameSphere by Ninvento has been released. Alright. I'm not sure how much we'll get into that. The PC might actually be worth focusing very hard. Time Wasters Ahoy generated us almost a million in sales. Not very much profit though. And in fact I bet it took long enough that we made a loss on it for monthly costs. So as soon as we fix all the bugs, I want to release this before new topics is not a thing anymore. Not, not huge, but we got some good level ups on a lot of things. Our engine, gameplay, story, and quests, level design, artificial intelligence, and graphics have all leveled up. Our version 3 2D graphics engine is doing admirably. Amy Nanning did not get as much experience as I hoped she would. New research available for video playback, advanced cutscenes, easter eggs, and AI companions. No, Amy. Maybe if this one goes well, then you can have a new computer. Quit complaining. Let's see how High School of the Mostly Alive did. It did okay. Sixes so far. Another six. Come on. Okay. It did all right. New Topics is a hot seller at the moment. The game meets the required ratings. Very nice. We're looking forward to future business, Codemeisters. Okay. It looks like we are selling quite a few. Rumors are spreading that Ninvento is working on a new game console. Most of the rumors state that it is not a successor to the somewhat disappointing game sphere, but instead a new console in the mobile market. Ninvento's GameLink has been leading the mobile market thanks to numerous updates and a large list of very popular games, none of which are ours, I think, available on the platform, but the hardware is aging quickly really quickly by this point, and many players wonder what will be next. What is next? What was Ninvento's offering after that? I don't remember. Oh well, let's see. High School of the Mostly Alive is doing reasonably well. We do need to generate a game report for it. It has made half a million so far. Excellent. After that, we will send her on a vacation. She's not doing so hot. Some of these would be very nice to have. What new topics? Alternate history? Not a bad choice, but... Excuse me. We do need to get some of these research, po research points off. 
with a rich backstory. We will have plenty of time to research while Amy is exploring some new town somewhere. Seems that the market is normalized. Okay, we have 6.1 million. You can tell that she needs a vacation. The TS-64 will be taken off the market in two months. Okay, not a big deal. Because she's working very slowly. She is generating us a good amount of research. Okay, fine, a small booth. We are doing quite well on our fan base. And I don't know how long this video has gone. Anyhow, we got School and Adventure is a great combination. Level design is not very important. We should try to focus our entire team. Was that hinting that I should have given her more work? Because I took a lot of work on that one. Let's research. New elements of dialogue. That seems like a good idea. I do to some extent want to focus on some particular things. Okay, High School of the Mostly Alive gave us one and a half million in sales. We are not going to do that well in this regard. We will not hit the top 100. Yep, we didn't make it in the top 100, but that's okay. We have a presence. You Go on vacation. TS-64 is no longer supported. We only got a quarter million out of it. I'm okay with that. Fine, Amy. Yes. We have six million. It's okay. Now stop whining at me. Wow. And actually, those look like good computers. We got rid of our CRTs. Dear Ryansoft, since G3 has become the biggest meetup of game developers every year, we have decided to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year where game devs from around the world can compete. Oh, this will be a great way for game developers to learn something new. You are welcome to join in at any time. There are no prizes, but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills. That actually sounds like a really good idea. That's probably in training here. Oh, there is a way to look at my stats. Okay. We can go through these trainings for G3. That seems pretty cool. Okay, let's move on in research. Story and quests are going to be very important. I think I want to focus on adventures and RPGs. I like those games and I like the PC and I think that we can do very nice things on it. Let's see what publishing deals are available. No, we don't want to do that. We need a minimum score of six on any topic for adventure on any platform. I think we can do that. I really do. A fashion strategy game? Really? For the PC? I don't know about that. But this one, this one we can do. Deep Platinum. A young, yeah? oh no, I was thinking of that one. No. Okay, yes, this is it. For young people, an adventure on any topic that has a minimum score of six. Uh, maybe, uh, eh, uh, eh, six. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. For the young people. Um, an adventure, we know that... Space, maybe? Hacking is okay. We don't know very much. Oh, comedy and adventure for young people, yes. 
Yes, excellent! And we know what to release it on. Well, we don't know that much. Adventures aren't good on the gambling, but it would be good for the young people. The youngsters. Everything else comes with a licensing cost, so whatever. We'll make it a 3D bit. And we will call it the quest for Simeon Peninsula. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. Our 3D graphics. I feel like that might hurt us a little bit because it's only version 1 3D graphics. But that's okay. In an adventure game, story and quests are important. Gameplay is also important. I am overloading myself, so Amy can take that. I will need to come up with a new game engine fairly soon. Hi, this is Roland Keen from Smash. I got word that Ryansoft is working on a new game. Would you be willing to answer a question about which things are better for comedy adventures? Many of our readers are curious about decisions as well. A comedy adventure should focus more on dialogues. I know that one. Ninvento has announced a new mobile console called the Ninvento GS. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I never had one of those. It features two screens, one of them touch sensitive and promises unique gameplay. While Ninvento has been struggling to regain their market lead ever since the TES 64, they still have a very strong position on the mobile market, and that is a good console. We definitely need to make at least a game for that. The Ninvento GS promises to strengthen this position and aims to breathe life into a stagnating mobile market. The console will be in stores next month. Cool deal. And dialogue is in fact of particular importance for comedy adventure games. That will hopefully help us a lot. Okay, we'll give Amy a lot of tasking on this one. We want her to level up. Vony announced that they are launching a new mobile gaming console called Portable Play System, or PPS, for short, later next year. Pulses per second? Anyhow, media analysts speculate that this announcement is meant to distract users from Ninvento's launch of the GS. They're both really good really good mobile platforms actually. While the Ninvento GS utilizes an innovative 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 to innovate innovative dual screen, the PPS instead makes use of a single screen and will focus on giving developers access to much more powerful hardware. We should release for both of those. I think they are probably going to be fairly expensive though in terms of getting licenses. The GS by Ninvento has been released. Good. Maybe our next step will be to release something for it. I feel like self-publishing might be a good thing. Ah, uh, okay. We will give this one a rich backstory. Amy is overworked, but that's okay. That's how you get experience. Our numbers are doing quite well in terms of design. I hope technology catches up. If the numbers do well, this could be a hit. Okay, our bugs are being dealt with. I would like some more points in technology. If Amy will stop inserting bugs. Come on, Amy. I'm fixing your bugs. Don't do this to me. Give me some technology points. A proposition encoded again. Let's decrypt it. Our agents have recently managed to gain access to some critical systems of a competitor. 
If you want to play war games, then transfer 147k. No Agent Blowfish. We don't want to sabotage people. Unfortunately, a strong audience of everyone doesn't really help this effort. We do have a new record in design. Our sound is nearing level 5. Amy did get a good amount of experience. Fingers crossed. This one's a good game. We really need a couple more million. And Quest for Simeon Peninsula has reviews. What? Really? Really? Come on, guys. It's better than that. Okay, we get way better numbers out of self-publishing. Honestly, I got better numbers out of working out of my garage. But the Dream Vest will be taken off the market in two months. Fine. I don't particularly care. The game doesn't live up to expectations. We lose 165k. Wow. Okay, Amy. What did we do wrong? Meanwhile, I will research new things, advanced cutscenes, I am a little bit low on research points, so we'll need to make a game or two to bolster that. Okay, sound seems to be not very important, and Young people are merely okay with the PC. Alright. Um, how much? It made us a million. Okay, not bad. Even though its scores were low, let's create our own custom engine. I'll put all the options in. This is going to be a massive undertaking. Rytec 5. TNG. Let's go, Amy. Help me out with this. The Dream Vest is no longer supported. We do need to make a new game for everyone. What are my monthly costs? Okay, in two months the gameling will be gone. Okay, not a big deal. Um, let's skip this time. 62k, okay, monthly costs. Not a huge deal, I think. We are losing money quite quickly. We were at 6 million just a little bit ago. We really do need a new game, even though Quest for Simeon Peninsula got us 1 and 3 quarters million. We need to consistently bring in a lot more. We have almost lost half a million. Okay, the PPS has been released. We should release something for the PPS for everyone. The Gameling is no longer supported. It made us almost a million. Thank you, Gameling. You were an incredibly important part of gaming history. Invest over 500k. Okay, we got that. Rytec 5 TNG is complete. Come on, Amy. Let's ride this to new heights. A. A. Everyone space adventure action. RPG? Maybe? Simulation? Casual? Strategy? Okay, space strategy for everyone. A medium game. For the PC, two pluses for simulation is good. With our brand new engine. And we will call it... Uh... Meteoroids. I know that's probably wrong. We'll deal with it. Moving on. 
we will give it our 3D graphics because I want to level those up. 3D graphics are the wave of the future and we need to ride that wave. We have a lot more options now in terms of storyline and cutscenes. Our story and quests are not going to be important. Our gameplay and engine are going to be more important, I think. So let's take the engine. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Something like that. We have no hints. <clears throat> We have no hints, so I'm going to guess. And while that's going, we're getting some hype. Artificial intelligence for strategy games is really important. Level design is okay. Dialogues are fairly negligible. And I can take those level designs so that Amy is not overworked. Seems that the market is normalized. We missed that particular wave. But that's okay. I guess. It's whatever. Okay, sound. Important. I will take it. You can have world design and graphics, which I will downplay to some extent. It will have stereo sound and a day-night cycle, a rich backstory, and an open world. We're pretty much evenly worked, so I will bump that up so that we're evenly worked. All right. I am probably going to decline an interview till I get more information about this particular setup. We didn't have very many hints, and I feel like that might hurt. We had a lot of bugs that game. It did, however, give us lots and lots of points on every facet. So, that usually indicates a strong game. New records on both counts. Excellent. Our sound has leveled up, our 3D graphics will momentarily. Let's go! A soundtrack is available. Okay. While that's going, let's research. Let's research soundtracks. Maybe the gameplay character progression is probably more important and new topics we really need new topics let's research some new topics we'll just go in order first reviews for meteoroids came in come on come on good okay Eight. Eight is good. Nine? Nine? Oh, okay. Eight. Achieved a great balance between technology and design. Good. A great game. Thank you, Game Hero. You're my hero. Heart. Okay. Very, very good reviews. This might be the break that we were hoping for. I am an employee of the Environmental Protection Agency and have an offer for you. Your company has a high electrical footprint right now. If you would install solar panels, you could decrease your footprint and save money in the long run. We would sponsor 50% of the costs, which brings your investment to 200 k I feel like this is a good choice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. It was a wise decision installing a solar collector. Smiley face. Okay. Good, good. Half a million in, in initial sales. Wow. Not too shabby. Let's generate a game report for it. It's already made us 1.3 million. So, let's research more things. 
I feel like some of these are a good choice. She does need a vacation pretty soon, though. Ryansoft has recently installed solar panels in their offices. While the video game and software industries are one of the cleanest industries on Earth, they do eat up a lot of electricity, so installing solar panels can really make an impact. Good! We made quite a few fans on that decision. Uh, I kind of want to fill a position so that I can spread work more evenly. But it's also expensive. We did just release a very good game. Engine seems to be quite important. Yeah. Okay. We have completed those. Let's research some more things. I want to get in on a lot of these while I have the money. You can hire up to four employees. Don't try to hire everyone at once as staff are expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt. Yes, I know. But we want to get a rookie, I think. A cheap rookie that I can overwork. I wonder if they can quit, actually. I feel like that's a good question. Amy really needs a break here. Henry May is almost exclusively technological, which admittedly could use a little bit of work. This might be, Ben might be a better choice. 16K versus 22K. Okay, well. 236. Okay, Henry is out. Ben Francisco is only 8k. He has a lot of technology to bring to the table. I feel like this could be a good choice. He is speedy as all get out. We have a good amount of research being built up. He's cheap. And he has a lot of technology. Okay, he doesn't have as good technology as Ben. And Ben is a bit more balanced. But Ben costs twice as much. That guy's definitely out. Okay, Ben, it looks like you are hired. Have male and female staff. Okay, we got a diversity award. Excellent. Very, very good. We are getting a bit overworked. We can research multi-platform things. You need your welcome training. And as soon as Amy does this, she is going on a vacation. I'm going to release, oh, 3.5-ish million in sales. Excellent. She is going on vacation to recharge her batteries. He is researching me. Researching me. Multi... Oh, 100 RP. Okay. I only have 29. So what new topics do we have? Virtual pet and government. Okay. Let's just go down the list. I cannot go on vacation. But we are moving along quite well. Let's develop a new game. I feel like a medium game is appropriate, although, no, I will develop a game. A mature game for the PC, using the newest engine, of course. What topics do I have? Comedy Mature is quite good. What else would be good for Mature? Probably Cyberpunk. And Cyberpunk RPGs are a great combo. Okay. How about Cyborg Vixens of some place. Ta tantalize. Oh. 
Okay. Well, of some places, fine. A cyberpunk RPG on the PC with our latest engine for mature audiences. Yes. We don't need to make that much money, but I do want 3D graphics? No, I want 2D graphics, but very, very good 2D graphics. Since I'm doing this all on my own, gameplay is important, story quests are highly important, the engine is less so. I still don't know what those percentages are, but we will give them all of the best. Okay. Oh, I, they've updated our client list. I heard that you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team. I've updated your client list, but we don't like contract work. Medium-sized contracts have been unlocked. Okay. I don't think that's a really good choice, so I shan't do it. I have gotten along quite well so far without it. RPGs dialogues are important, level design is less so, and artificial intelligence probably is relatively negligible, but I'm not going to ignore it. Hey, he completed some research. We will get a small booth. Maybe training him in technology. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Sure, go ahead. It's only 15k. A media inquiry. Hi, this is Andrew McNara from Game Informant. I got word that Ryansoft is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current project? Absolutely. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritize development areas. Your new game is a cyberpunk RPG game. Can you tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on level design or on sound? Oh. Seems like a good choice to me. Certainly wouldn't expose ignorance, which nobody really cares about anyway, right? No, it's probably level design. But I'm also probably wrong. In a recent interview, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I chose well level design. Other industry professionals agree that level design is of paramount importance to a cyberpunk RPG game. Okay, graphics, reasonably important, sound, not so much, and we'll say that world design is quite important. We will give them the best. Okay, and we move on. This guy is still training. Ben is still training. Amy is back. We cannot research anything, so she, as well, will train. Find out what some of these do. Wow, I got a lot of design points on that. And we're promoting cyborg vixens of some place at G3. We now have 47k fans. We've reached the highest numbers we have but we did not make it into the top 100. Sadly, we have fixed our bug. This is the highest design and technology we have seen yet. So, I want one more point in design. Come on, Ryan. Come on. You're not even working this project. Why are you inserting bugs? You were training. Okay, well, whatever, we're finished. Records in design and technology. Ben somehow got experience for it. Okay, I'm cool with it. Let's release our small game and hope it does well. 
just shifting a bit. First reviews for Cyborg Vixens of some place are in. Don't be crap. Okay, a seven. It's not utter crap. Beautiful. Okay. A nice experience. Thank you, Game Hero. Okay, sevens across the board. Whatever. It'll pay for itself, at least. Huh? Have not broken 100k on the first round yet. I haven't... I don't think I've had a number one game yet. Let's see. Ben, go generate me a game report for Cyborg Vixens of someplace. You will research... Oh, wow. All we really have is a new topic. Okay. Alternate history. Go. And next, we do need to release a good game for something. Post-release analysis. Story and quest seems to be very important. Really? For an RPG? Ben Silverman is new. He needs experience. Try to focus our entire team. I know! I was trying to do that one while everybody was busy. Anyway, let's... No, not contract work. Contract work sucks. Let's find a publishing deal. We cannot. We don't have any of the requisite things. So, let's develop a new game. I feel like a Play System 2 game is a good choice. A medium-sized game for everyone. Let's go with a... a... Ninja Action game for the Play System 2 using our latest engine, and we will call it she, yes, B. And move on. We have 8 million. We can afford it. I feel 3D graphics. We should be quite good at ninja actions since we've had one or two titles in the past. Engine, incredibly important. Gameplay, important. Story and quests not. Okay, me on the most important thing, Amy on the next, Ben taking up the slack. Okay. Cyborg Vixens of Someplace got us almost two million in sales. Quite well received, I think. The market responds particularly well to games with new topics, but it will not be that way long enough for us to take advantage of it. I really, I think, need to research marketing so that I can hype my own games. Dialogues, no. Level design, yes. Artificial intelligence, fair. I will take... Uh, Artificial intelligence? Yes. Amy can take the level design. And Ben can do nothing about the dialogues. My people are not getting overworked at all. I should have Ben take care of the next big thing. Okay, graphics. Very important. Sound, I think, is going to be up there. World design, uh, not really. So, Ben, go do our graphics. I will take sound. Amy can take a break. On that, we will give them the best of everything. Moving on. This new game is going to be so good. It will be technologically amazing. Its design will be solid. 54! 55 in technology. We're generating and fixing bugs at an alarming rate, actually. 37. Okay, anybody else want to contribute? 38. Oh, come on. 
Okay, I guess for some top-notch design, you have to put a few bugs in. Okay, let's see how that does. It is a technological marvel, and our 3D graphics engine has leveled up, as has Amy. An excellent turn of events. Let's see how it does. She makes more money now, sadly. New research is available. I can get the next version of 3D graphics. Excellent. We do need that. 3D graphics v2. Okay. First reviews came in. Let's take a look. Okay, it's all right. It is not a complete flop. Um, I hope it pays for itself. Okay, we got a 7. That's reasonably good. It did cost us, what, like a million dollars? Okay, generate as a game report for she yes be. I will research a new topic. Virtual pets. Let's go. Okay, I think it paid for itself on its first round. Industry experts predict that we will see the next generation of video game consoles as early as next year. The hardware in advancements in the PC in industry have not been reflected in gaming consoles yet, and we can expect the next generation to be a truly exciting leap forward. Maybe. Both Micronoft and Vony are in a race to introduce the next generation console, with Micronoft apparently already collaborating with partners to prepare titles for what is called the Mbox 360. I wonder if I should just make a stand and put myself on one side of that console war. I feel like it might be a good idea. I am running out of research points. Sadly. Come on. She yes be. Game report. Okay, dialogue's not at all important. We pretty much knew that. So let's see. It made 1.5 million so far. Excellent. I am doing better than I thought. So well, in fact, that a medium booth is in order. Yes. Indeed. Okay, good. We can't really research anything. We don't want to train. Let's make another game for... for... the PC. I'm feeling a... a... RPG an RPG, sorry, an RPG about pirates with our latest game engine, a medium title, a mature pirate RPG, what shall we call it? Um, Drake's Age, yeah, yeah, good enough. It's a mature pirate RPG. You could be a pirate in that, right? Yeah, what's her name was a pirate. Anyway, anyway, let's make this thing with 3D graphics, of course. Partially so that I can get my research points up. Ben can, in fact, take that, the engine. I I will take, yes, that seems like a good setup. I think those levels are fine. Okay. Our pirate RPG is well on its way out the door. It's generating a small amount of hype. No, I don't want to find staff. I did not mean to click there. Okay, she yes be is being, oh, and Drake's age are being showcased at G3. We didn't make 
nearly enough fans for it. We did not make the top 100, but that's okay. We have plenty of time. I have a knack for security, and I think we could really do with some security upgrades in our office. I have done some research, and I think with an investment of 50k, we would be a lot safer. I feel like this is bad, but... Arr, do I really want to? Do I really want to up my costs? No. Okay, sorry that I bothered you. Yeah, Amy, go make my game. Come on. Okay, in an RPG, dialogues are important. Level design is important. Artificial intelligence is not as important. I need to take something big, Amy can take something small, and Ben can learn some things about design. Um, the numbers on this one aren't adding up as well. It might be less of a game. It is hyping reasonably well. Graphics are kind of important. World design, incredibly important. And sound, not. So, Ben can take that. I will take graphics. And everyone is good. Reasonably worked. Ben will need a vacation, as will Amy. I think I'll send them on vacations while I do some research. She ESP is off the market. It made three million. Excellent. The market has normalized. Oh, what was it? I don't remember what the market was. Anyhow. Okay, our technology is somewhat outpacing our design which I don't care for, but let's kick it out the door. Not, not a marvel in either respect. We are level six. Excellent. Let's see how it does. First reviews for Drake's Age are in. Really? That bad? How in the world? What did I do wrong? RPG games work well on the piece. Thanks, all games. All right. Okay. We apparently made some bad decisions that will cost us. But these guys need vacations. They're going to be useless. I'll generate the game report. I will be quicker anyway. It had a quite lackluster first first period. It has paid for itself. It just hasn't made us very much. She SB made us 2.5 million. Cyborg Vixens made us 1.5 million. As soon as these people get back, we can do better things. Pirate and RPG is good. Sound is not very important. Okay. We did focus our entire team. What are you talking about? Okay. Drake's Age is soon off the shelves. It had a fairly quick turnaround. Oh, the Mbox 360 from Micronoft. It is the first in the next generation of expected consoles and features hardware rivaling mid and PC counterparts. With a relatively cheap purchase price, Micronoft will be selling the device at a loss as part of a long-term strategy to gain market share. Gamers around the world are excited by the new console and it is predicted that the Mbox 360 will have a massive impact on the console market. And you know what? I kind of want in on that. Is Did they say that was out? No. No, it is not. However, for the Mbox, I want to make a an alien action game for, oh, I already said Mbox, using our engine, and we will call it... 
we will call it um, Devil Horns. Yes, for everyone. I'll admit it's a bit of a stretch, Devil Horns, but you know, you'll get it. It's fine. Just think about it for a while. It will have 3D graphics, rudimentary 3D graphics. Drake's Age is still selling, surprisingly, but our engine is incredibly important. Story and quests are not. Gameplay needs to be fairly good. And I will take the engine, being the most technologically competent person. Amy will ensure that the gameplay is good, and Ben will screw up the story, and we're good with that! Because he needs to learn. Drake's Age is off the market, almost a million in sales. Okay. Hi, this is Curtin Gillen from Gamers. I got word that Ryan Soft is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information? Yes, I would. What is your expectation regarding the success of Devil Horns? Do you think that the game will be well received? Yes, I do. I hope, I really, really hope that I'm right. Dialogues, no. Level design, yes. Artificial intelligent. Intelligence, fairly good. Okay. I will take that. Amy will take... Oh, no, Ben. Ben, you can take that. Amy can take that. I don't want to overwork Amy, but I am getting quite worked myself. So, perhaps, on stage three, I will take the lowest of the positions and let them carry some slack. Our numbers are looking reasonably good. Graphics, all the way up. Sound, reasonably good. It is an action game. World design needs okayness, I think. Uh, I don't know, they're all pretty good. We'll take that one, though. Amy can take graphics, and Ben can take sound. Hey, we're, we're moving quite well. One of these is going to bite me. I can just feel it, and I think it's world design. So, there we go. The market responds particularly well to games with new topics. Our game is not a new topic. At least not to us. So, let's finish it. We have quite a few bugs. It is a technological wonder. Wow, I think that is the best I've seen so far. Its design is quite good. I would like a few more points in it. The Mbox 360 has been released. Okay. Just in time for us to release a sequel to this. Okay, we're making and fixing bugs with a fair amount of rapidity. Okay, yes, we will put a small booth out, and we will finish this game. A new record of technology. Our world design, excellent. Ben has a large amount of XP from that. Let's go. A virtual economy, hey. Maybe MMORPGs are the way to go. First reviews came in. Okay, let's see. Okay, sevens are good. Eight, nine, 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 nine. Okay, eight. Fine. Informed gamer. Okay, another eight from Game Hero. This looks like a very good. Oh, can't wait for the sequel. Well, you shan't wait long. Because I'm pretty much immediately putting one out. Okay, it made 1.7 million. In an exclusive interview a while ago, I made very bold remarks about their then-in-development game predicting that it will be uber-successful. Now that the game is out, 
I was spot on as it has received very positive reviews. This had a positive impact on sales. We are making a lot of money. You guys are fine in terms of overworkedness. So let's immediately release, release a sequel for the new console. We didn't make it into the top 100, but that's okay. I didn't really expect to. I need to generate a game report for that. These people need to research. I want to hype the crap out of this new one. Sell half a million copies without the help of a publisher. Yes, we are mostly self-published. We just got word that Devil Horns has racked up over 500k in sales. The excitement around the game seems to have no end. That is absolutely true. I feel, oh, fantasy, yes, I needs it. I definitely needs that one. But we will very quickly turn around a sequel to Devil Horns for a new platform. Oh good, aliens and action is a great combo. Story and quests are not important and action on the M-Box is great. I knew that. So let's wait for this. Bing! Fantasy is done. We can release a fantasy RPG for the PC at some point in the very near future, but I want to do this I want it on the 360. It is for everyone, and it is called Devil Horns 2. It features our same engine, which I think it did. I don't think they had a new engine for 2. But I don't actually know. So, I'm up to 16 million in cash. Let's put this out and hope it does as well as its predecessor. The engine is important, the gameplay is important, the story and quests are not. I want to work Ben on this one, actually, which may end up hurting me because he's not that good, but it is a sequel. It has that going for it. Okay, still not sure what the percents mean, but that's okay, because that particular element doesn't matter. In two months, the M-Box will be taken off the market. It looks like I was right in time. In two months, the game sphere is also off the market. Ninvento announced their bid in the next generation console market by announcing the new Instead of trying to compete with Micronoft and Vony on hardware strength and graphical power, Ninvento has decided to deliver a truly unique gaming experience. Features a controller with a built-in motion sensor which allows players to stand, front, stand in front of their TV and use the controller as a counterpart to virtual objects such as a tennis racket. And in fact they do, and certain games are awesome on that console, while most are not. First playtesters were seen with huge grins on their faces. It seems to be a lot of fun. And in fact, I will feature some games for that, but not most of them. The market is normalized again. Okay. That is fine. I didn't expect a whole lot. Dialogues. Not important. And Ben can take that. Level design is important and artificial intelligence also important. So Amy can take artificial intelligence. I feel like a new engine might be in the works. Devil Horns is off the market. 10 million in sales. Wow, really? Nine and a half million in profit. That's insane. I suppose it did make a crap ton of money. And graphics and sound, fairly important. World design, I think I'll bump up a little bit. But I'll take Amy off 
of that, and Ben will take it. Yeah, everybody's green. We're good. Okay, all of the best. Okay. I think I want to research a version 2 3D engine and whatever else I can get my grubby little paws on. The Mbox gave me 10.2 million. I didn't release anything for the game sphere, but nobody really cared. Okay, based on the numbers, this is not going to be as good a title as its predecessor, but a solid effort. I don't think it's going to be panned, for one thing. And finish. Oh no, it seems that Devil Horns had quite a few undiscovered bugs. Of course we're going to patch it. In fact, Ben is going to patch it. Our 3D graphics is leveled up, as has Ben. Good job, Ben. You're actually catching up to Amy. Our dialogues are quickly on the rise. The following staff, Ben, have earned raises. We are going to develop that patch. Hopefully in time. First reviews for Devil Horns 2. I hope it's not crap. Oh, it's utter crap. Wow, didn't we just play Devil Horns? Yes, yes you did. I'm sorry. Okay, lesson learned. No sequels immediately after the original title. Yeah, rather than bringing a new and innovative game to market, the company delivered another Aliens action game, which is more or less the same setting. Yes, but it was wildly popular. I think Devil Horns 2 was simply developed too soon after the previous game. With not enough innovations in technology and design, you're probably right. Probably right. Well, I hope it makes enough money. Oh, the new has been released by Ninvento. Okay. Let's generate us a game report. And I'm going to research... Oh, I thought I could research more graphics. Okay, well... I don't have enough for multi-platform. What new topics do we have? Law, transport, government, and surgery. I'm not really feeling those. A virtual economy and soundtrack. Perhaps video playback. A multi-genre. Not, not too bad. Better AI. Let's, let's do that. Why not? He can also research something. A soundtrack. And we will develop something new. Something bold. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. Oh good, they liked our patch. I love companies like Ryansoft. We don't screw them. Okay. We have 55,000 fans. Not too bad. We completed soundtrack. We're still waiting on that. So, let's research government. Why not? We're 20 years into our career. I think that means we're halfway through. Um, okay, level des design is quite important. And everyone likes aliens. What did I say? I believe I called it. Everyone likes aliens. Okay, the market really doesn't like it when we publish very similar games. Thank you, Amy. I'm sure without your brilliant analysis, we would not have found that out. Okay, well, did we at least... No, it is a complete loss. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, ben here does need to go on a vacation, as does Amy. I'm giving my developers too much. 
I, however, am going to train on the on the code jam. Oh, I can't. I think I need my whole team. Let's make me think. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Oh, it's mostly research driven. Okay. Devil Horns 2 is off the market. It sucked. Small booth is fine. We ended up losing a hundred and six and a half K on it. But that's more than made up for by its predecessor, which made us way more than that. Okay, Ben is back. Amy is back. As soon as I finish training, let us create another engine with version two graphics. We can in fact dispense with old versions of graphics, include multiplayer, character progression, a level editor, Easter eggs, AI, and a soundtrack. Yes! The Rytec 5000. A major step forward. Vony has announced the successor to the massively successful Play System 2. The new console is predictably called Play System 3 and comes with an impressive hardware configuration, making it the most powerful console in gaming history. Console also doubles as a player for Blu-ray. Does that even count, just adding an E? Which Vony hopes will be the successor to the DVD format. All this power comes with a hefty price tag, also making the Play System 3 the most expensive console ever. We will see how consumers will react to this given the low cost alternatives. However, considering the massive success of the Play System 2, Vony can be hopeful. The console is expected to ship in the coming months. Okay. We shall work on our game engine and then release something for it. I'm not quite sure what. One of our new topics, I think. And this video has gotten quite long. At least two hours? Wow. Okay. We didn't make it into the top 100 again, but that's okay. We're developing a new game engine. A custom game engine. The game engine of the future. I feel like we could fill another position, but I am losing money very, very rapidly. So I don't know that I want to. I have a good development team here. We can distribute work quite effectively. And I feel like Darwin needs a sequel. A simulation on the PC for everyone. But with all of our new things, a Rytec 5000 engine game and development on it is complete let's develop a sequel way back here I remember termite hunter 15,000 K and don't talk to me about life shurikens of steel the very last frontier Darwin there we are for the G64 we will release it for the PC since simulations perform very well, casuals do not, apparently. A medium game for everyone using our latest engine. Um, let's see. We will call this one Natural Selection. We didn't really make puns with Darwin, so Natural Selection just follows the same trend and it will use version 2 3D graphics. Of course! Let's start. I'm hoping that this one will be quite good. Gameplay is somewhat negligible, story and quests also. 
So I will take on the engine, Amy can take on the story and quests, and Ben can have gameplay. We will give it a branching story, I'm not sure how, advanced cutscenes of some variety, and character progression, although I'm not sure what that means for an evolution simulation. All of these optional things are, I think, make everything better. Although this could be a bad thing. So let's find out. I will have to discover what those mean. Hi, this is Jorg Longer, I think, from Game Nova. I got word that Brian Soft is working on a new game. Yes, I will. What is your expectation? Um, I feel like being modest, because I really don't know how this one's going to turn out. In what some call a bizarre show of arrogance, Vony representatives have been trash-talking Micronoft's successful MBOX 360 while praising their own upcoming Play System 3 in the lead-up to their launch later this month. Asked about the unusually high price of the Play System 3, a high-ranking company official replied, People will work more hours to buy one. We want people to feel that they want it more than anything else. And that is quite a lot of hubris. We are not sure that players will really want it so badly, as so far no major game titles have been announced for the Play System 3. It might be a while before developers are able to take full advantage of the powerful new console. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be as good as they think. Level design, kind of important. Artificial intelligence, really important. Let's not overwork people. We'll put all of our options in. But Amy will take the large task on level 3. The Play System 3 has been released. All right. I think overall my focus has been on PC games. I've made minor forays into other markets. Okay, Ben, me, Amy. Okay, good. Ben's a little overworked. That is what I want. He needs to get experience. And Amy is doing our graphics, so quite good. Let's move on and see how this one fares in the competitive market. Will it be selected? Okay, work out the bugs. It is a technological marvel. Breaking barriers in its way. It seems that the market responds particularly well to games with new topics. Okay, well... 90! So high! Okay, he's giving me a bug. I fix it, it immediately. Let's go! A new record on both counts. So good! Dialogue level design graphics are all level 6. Excellent. Amy got a lot of experience, as did Ben, which is quite good. Voiceovers, simple body language, and mini games are available to research. First reviews for natural selection. Let's hope. Ah, uh, quite good. Okay. A 10 from Informed Gamer. Excellent. Another 10. A great sequel for Game Hero. One of the best, all games. Excellent. This will make us a lot of money. And we need quickly to generate a game report, do some research on new topics. Uh, oh, I can afford something. 
video playback AI perhaps I don't have enough for some things that I really want like the dialogues world design I could use the engine and graphics 2d graphics v4 might not be a bad idea but I don't have enough so 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 let's go for a virtual economy why not excellent it is selling quite well Ryan Soft has recently released a sequel to their game Darwin the newest game in the series titled natural selection was made w met with great responses critics praised that natural selection had a newer engine than the original really driving technical innovation yes yes it does we've reached 61,000 fans I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of game number eight I don't even remember what that was have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game they don't make any money with it and just seem to be doing it for the fellow fans we'll let them be we will lose some money on it but we will make fans Ryan soft surprises us again with a very enjoyable game rarely manages a game to blend the AI so well into the game world that you just feel completely immersed summary best game ever from Arnie Kunkel from Electric Games hey thank you Arnie post-release analysis of natural selection sound seems to be quite important really okay everyone likes evolution games apparently additional insights self-publishing will be most efficient when we have at least 100k fans publishing deals can go stuff it I'm doing quite well racked up over 500k in sales we wonder how many more it will sell as do I to some extent however on that note in two months the play system 2 will be taken off the market not a big deal everyone is doing well we just released a hit sequel and so I think it is time to end this episode it has been I think almost two and a half hours so we will see you next time where we do amazing new things developing games like never before so that's the end of this one we hope to see you next time